Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you the setup of my new A5 ring planner. This one is by Agenda 52. I picked it up from Hobby Lobby uh, about a week or two ago, and I absolutely love it. It is rose gold, and it's got like a soft, kind of padded cover. Obviously, I'm pretty sure this is a faux leather, but when I saw this, uh, it was, like I knew I had to have it. I love rose gold. It's one of my favorite golds. And I picked this up because it was on sale. <laughs> Not that that justifies anything, but hey, I'm just keeping it real. Now this is a very basic setup. When I shared this planner or the binder in the... There's a Facebook group that is all about ring planners. I think it's called ring snap ring planners or something like that. But when I shared this, a photo of this uh, in the group, so many people were curious to see the inside and to see the layout. And I've been meaning to share this, but I was still kind of working on my setup. So I officially moved into this planner in June. I still have some other planners that I'm using, so this one hasn't necessarily replaced anything. I'm just kind of using it because I like it and because it's pretty. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Like I said, this is an Agenda 52 planner. I bought it at Hobby Lobby not too long ago. It might still be there. Uh, they also had it in the personal size too. You know, if you're not interested in the A5 and if you're more of a uh, personal size planner. So, uh, now I've just kind of been playing with this setup because I just wanted it to be really, really aesthetically pleasing when I opened it, but at the same time, I didn't want it too cluttered with a bunch of stuff. Now I do like the planners, or I do like when planners have a lot of that cute stuff, but I knew for me in this particular one, <clears throat> excuse me, that I just didn't want it over overly cluttered. So what I did is I just uh, put some pieces of scrapbook paper in the pockets just because uh, I thought it looked prettier than them just being you know plain and I don't know if I'm gonna keep this like this but for now it's working uh, like I said it's not too overwhelming as soon as I open it uh, this is a secretarial pocket here and I don't have anything in here because I do like seeing the pretty texture and the rose gold of the planner now one of the things I don't particularly care for is that the rings are gold. Now I, I'm pretty sure it probably would have been more expensive for them to find rose gold rings to match the planner, but uh, that's the only thing that kind of throws this off a little bit. I mean it's not horrible, but at the same time it just kind of takes away from the overall aesthetic of the beauty of this planner. But Obviously, I didn't have a choice, so we've got gold rings in there. Now, this first dashboard is a Foxy Fix A5 dashboard, and I just have some. Uh, this is vellum, and this is like a bronze color vellum. It's not exactly rose gold, but the color is close enough that it works for me, if I can get this back in there. So I just put that on there so I could have a place to put sticky notes. Um whatever but again I wanted it simple and uncluttered uh, next I have a clear frosted divider that I made I made myself uh, these were what are they called like dividers that come for they, they are made for a regular big three hole binder and all I did was cut them down to fit here and then I punched them so it's like a clear frosted divider now this is also some uh, foil, kind of like a bronze, but it kind of looks rose gold. Uh, again, this is from an old scrapbook paper pack <laughs> that I've had for years. I don't even remember. I threw away, uh, or I should say I donated uh, the, the pad, but I just ripped out the pages that I really liked, and this was one of them. And I thought it matched so beautifully in this planner. So that's just for looks. It doesn't do anything functional. Now, uh, these inserts I picked up from Michael's. 
they are rose gold which obviously is perfect with this planner uh, this came with it you get the I think monthlies and the weeklies in there and so I just obviously have this as the divider as we go into the actual functional planner pages uh, again I have another sheet of that bronze vellum which I love it's just so beautiful you know it's just so uh, sophisticated and simple looking again this is the uh, divider from the inserts from Michaels I think it was I think they're fifteen dollars but obviously I used a coupon or sometimes you can get it on sale when they have their planner supplies on sale it has the rose gold foil it's beautiful I really love it and it's got the marbling down here too which I thought just really works so as you move into the months you get a notes page here and you get notes back here and then what I did because I had the stickers and I'm trying to use up my stuff I went ahead and used date dots I think these are Erin Condren date dots uh, for the month layout because you get a month on two pages but it's undated so you'll have to date it yourself and I just wanted to use these stickers I know the green really doesn't match uh, anything else in the planner but I thought it just kind of worked because again I just wanted to use it up so you get the month on two pages and then you go uh, to your week on two pages uh, I started this planner in June and I'm using some Capital Chic stickers from my stash that I just wanted to use up. So uh, you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then the weekend here. But obviously you could cover this up. Sometimes uh, I like to have the days all the way across like Monday to Thursday and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So you know whatever works for you. There's a lot of uh, flexibility and versatility with these particular inserts. Again they are undated so you have complete freedom to make them as you want and make them work for you. Now I uh, did participate in the BLM Planner Challenge. Uh, if you saw my post on Instagram, I did show this layout, which I'm going to share with you here. But um, the, uh, I guess, idea of the challenge was to date, to decorate one of your weeks, uh, recognizing, I guess, with the a Black Lives Matter Matters theme. And so I wanted to participate in that because I felt uh, really passionate about it. So this is my layout for that. And I just took some black paper and then I uh, got these freebie stickers from Victoria Thatcher and the printable collection. And then I just put quotes here and then this is the week on two pages here. And I just really like the way it came out. Now I don't have a silhouette or a cricket so I hand cut these so you can see they're not exactly perfect but you know what I think it totally works it uh, it kind of gives it a very um, authentic kind of feel to it and I just really like it so this is the layout here I thought it came out really well and then I added some more quotes back here so uh, that's what the week on two pages looks like here's one that doesn't have anything on it you just got the week here and then you have the days of the week but of course you can customize it to whatever works for you and then we go into the remainder of the month so we have uh, July August September October November I really love how simple these are and then you have December here. Look how pretty. And then uh, because I started this planner in June, I have the remaining months back here as well. So you've got January, February, March, April, and then May. So uh, that is it for my monthly and weekly pages. Then I have another divider here, and then I have another of that beautiful foil uh, paper just for decorative purposes. And then we go into my notes section. And this is, I think this is lined paper that came with another A5 binder I have. I can't remember. 
but uh, I just kind of threw it back here so I have a section for notes. I haven't quite used it yet, but I have lined and then I have some graph paper here in the back. And then I have a little zip pocket here, which I'm probably going to throw some stickers in because uh, I do want to have some uh, sticky notes in here. So that's in the back. And then I have a page lifter, and I think this one, yeah, this is from Foxy Fix as well. And I got this a while ago. I think she, I don't know if she still sells these, but I, I, I bought this probably at least two years ago. And then this is the back of the planner. You do get a full-size pocket here. And uh, the little logo, the Paper Studio. But it says Agenda 52, so I have no idea what is what. But in case you're looking for it, you'll know. And then this is the back of the planner. So that is a look inside. Like I said, I am really loving uh, how pretty this planner is. It's just a joy to look at. It, uh, it really is all about functionality and ease of use. If you have any questions about anything that I shared in this video, feel free to drop it down in the comment section below. And if you are not subscribed, please make sure you do so because I do have a lot more videos to come. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I will definitely see you in the next video.